Yeah. New York City, how are we feeling tonight? Y'all good? So, my name is Peter Rosenberg. I came out to fuck with you guys tonight. Jay Dilla, rest in peace. This is a pretty awesome record. It's a Jay Dilla sample, and this crowd should know Jay Dilla samples. And it's a pretty sweet one to play. I, who knows if they know it. It was a Ghostface record. But this is my DJ room. I record radio shows here. I practice in here. My friends sleep here. And in case you're wondering, that is the finest memory foam, if anyone wants to take a nap in here. So recently I've been really into 45s, to little records, seven inches. You know, generally the places that I would go where I'm spinning 45s is usually a somewhat cool crowd to start out with. So you can guess that you can play cool. You know what I mean? Meaning you don't have to play super mainstream stuff. In fact, you want to play stuff that makes them go, oh shit. People would say, what's Peter Rosenberg about? It's like, oh, he's like a hip hop purist and he puts on new artists. I'm, I guess people would say that. I feel like I like that song. But then, as a music lover and collector and DJ, what I love the most is classic stuff. Like that's really what I'm into is really old classics. So it's a weird mix. Like DJ Scratch grew up in a house with parents who were listening to classic soul music. Does this get it together? I didn't. I grew up in a house with parents who were listening to Paul Simon and like Dan Fogelberg and stuff. Move it, Bear. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I didn't have a knowledge of classic soul music. And that's probably the most predominant thing that I have in my collection. It's just like awesome soul music and jazz, like Grover Washington, George McRae, The Main Ingredient, Barry White, Barry White, The Isley Brothers, uh, Bobby Womack, Lee Moses, Chambers Brothers. War, you know, this is like music I didn't know that much about. And it's samples I knew, but I didn't know the real songs. And so the 45 thing has just made me learn and collect. And like, even if you may only hear me on the radio talking about new music and stuff like that, to be honest, I credit this with a lot of it because it just got me super pumped about music again, like uh, in a different way. You take me across the map. She used to whip me with a You want to go? Come on, bud. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not a downtown person. I'm cool in my own way, but I'm not downtown, like, late at night, loud. It, it's hard to explain. I just, there's, a, there's an energy about the Upper West Side I really like. And there are certain people you hear about, like, Seinfeld. Like, you don't leave the Upper West Side. The Upper West Side's awesome. He has the right station on. He knows what time it is. Uh, my Uber driver knows what time it is. Thanks, man. What up, man? Chilling. Wait, so y'all, wait, y'all really love Jay Dillon? Let's see if y'all really fuck with Stone's Throw and Jay Dillon. You better know this right here. 